when you are exercising faith these things are there what is the word of god say does god what is the will of god concerning that situation do you know the will of god what is the word of god say that's the number one thing secondly do you believe the bare word of god thirdly do you believe it in spite of contrary evidences fourthly have you reached a point where you are fully convinced of it have you meditated upon god's word Let's see a lot of people are just going from one meeting to another st- sticking their head out saying please pray for me brother after they've gone for 30 years round and round like this they're still in the same position no faith they're looking at all the problems all the difficulties writing everywhere their prayer request they look at all the problems they never look at the word of god instead of running everywhere sticking their head if they bury their head here and spend some time here and keep looking at this keep looking at this document here this will of god that is stated here keep reading this about how jesus died and purchased our blessing for us and made that ours how that this is our keep reading about god's faithfulness god's goodness that he never uttered a word that has never come to pass everything that he says will come to pass that he is a good god he is a mighty god he is a god who is all able all powerful and he is all good amen when you read that and you keep reading that and these things get into you that god is good that god never fails that god never lies that god can never speak something that is not true that everything he speaks he'll come bring to pass he's that kind of a god that i worship he is my god that's where faith comes from 